Nobody put Seth in the corner. Okay, I I put myself in the corner. Uh, yeah, you might have noticed that my studio apartment is no longer visible on camera. I didn't necessarily mind it too much, but it was a little bit distracting and just kind of annoying. So this, this corner might not be the best view of most interesting thing to look at, but it's there. I might try to spruce it up living in an apartment. Not too much I can do to the walls, but I'm sure there's blue tack or other stuff like that. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should, I should do. Uh, so this is just a quick New Year's Eve Eve vlog slash update uh, to apologize for not posting any content like I said I would. Bad me. <laughs> Uh, it's been a weird, it's been a weird doldrum type period between Christmas and New Year's. I, I don't really celebrate Christmas, but the world's motions kind of seem to stop for Christmas and they don't start again until after New Year. So it's this weird period where it's just kind of 2022 is over 2023 hasn't started yet but um yeah so it's just been it hasn't been bad necessarily but it's just been a weird weird period of downtime which i've i've been trying my best to rather than being antsy about it no what do i do i've been trying to just enjoy it you know i've i've taken some good walks i've had some good good fun times with online friends stuff like that yeah i don't really have much of an actual life here at the moment although i did see my father the day after christmas that was really nice we had chinese food which wasn't very good but the company more than made up for it anyway you probably don't care too much about any of that stuff i don't really know why i'm rambling at all except as i've said many times before just to practice getting some camera confidence and just getting used to being on camera because this is something I want to do with my life, especially in 2023, to uh, maybe grow a YouTube channel, make some online courses. Uh, it feels weird just to say that, you know, just to say you know, making content like what do I have that that other people would be interested in? But the truth is there's probably a decent amount, you know, I'm 42 years old and anyone who makes it to 42 I think has some unique life experience unless you've been living under a rock and I, I think I've maybe had a more diverse life than most and maybe that's worth something I don't know I really don't know uh, but at any rate we're here we're doing stuff um i have had a chance to take out my new zve 10 camera that i showed off in the last video on a couple of romps and taking a few good pictures well eh, good you can be the judge i will probably do a video on that sometime soon but in the meantime uh this is it for now i think i've rambled long enough don't know how I'm doing on the whole camera confidence thing. I mean, I feel pretty confident. I don't feel nervous being in front of the camera or anything like that. It's more just a matter of speaking coherently and cogently and sounding intelligent and being organized, all that good stuff. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers have a script or an outline. Uh, an outline might work for me that I consult beforehand. A script would be a little challenging because of my um, visual impairment, not being able to read an on-screen script. I mean, if I were to, I'd have to be you know, really close to the really close to the screen. Um, of course, one option is Braille, which you know might be I've thought about for a long time of using Braille as a as a way to prompt myself during lectures and, and that kind of thing. I just don't do a lot of public speaking yet. So it's never been a priority, but maybe it will be, who knows? Um, cause yeah, you can get, 
either paper braille on thick paper and do it that way, or they make braille. Uh, they call them braille displays. It's essentially a a row of of braille cells with with dots that raise and lower to mimic braille characters. So anyway, uh, I said I would stop rambling, and then I proceeded to continue rambling. So apologies for that. Uh, give this a like if you're still here. And I will see you guys. Hopefully I'll do another one of these before year's end. But I'll see you guys before too long in any case. So thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.